welcome to this lecture here in this we are going to talk about models in Django now what is a model in Django a model is a Python class that represents a database table and each attribute of the model corresponds to a database field practically now we can see that how we can create a model this model will further help us in creating our database table in your Django application, you see there is a by default file available that is models.py. This is the file where you define the models for your application. In this, we already have one piece of code that is from django.db import models class. So uh, this model class is going to help us to create a model. We have to first of all create a class. I want to work with the employee table. That is why I'll be creating a class with the name ENP class emp and inside this the parameter we have to use is models.model what is models.model here it's a base class provided by Django so when you define a model you create a subclass of this models.model class and this subclass is now representing your table now within this we are going to specify all the fields that we want that is the attributes that we want inside this. We need the first name and we'll be using models.carefield. Carefield. And there's a mandatory parameter that we always have to define what is the maximum length. Let's say for now I'm taking 255 as the maximum length. Then I need last name models.carefield. And the maximum length is 255 again. And the last one I need is salary. For the employee, we need salary. We are using models dot integer field. Integer field. You have to be very careful while writing this. So one mistake I made here that we need to have here capital F capital F all right so we have defined the class for our model now the point is that how do we know that whether our table is created or not for this we have to discuss about migrations in Django. in Django migration is a way to propagate the changes you make to your models for example, you are adding some field, you are deleting your model or modifying a field in your database schema. So the class that we have just written is just a piece of code that will help us to create the model, but actually your model is not yet created. So the first thing is that we have to use the command make migrations. When you change a model, you need to create a migration to reflect those changes in the database schema. Now, after this, once your migrations are created, you need to apply them to your database to execute the changes. So, means that your actual work is done by this last command that is python manage.py migrate. So, let's see that how we can use these two commands in order to create our table. So, you can open your terminal and if you want, you can create a split terminal here. So that your server is executed uh, at the same time and you can you can work with your migrations as well so we have to write here i'll just write uh, we have to write python manage dot pi make migrations make migrations you hit enter and you see you are uh, you are able to see that a model create model emp this is created now you see that inside this migrations folder inside your application there is always a by default folder available called migrations folder where you will be able to see this triple zero one underscore initial dot pi so when you open this you will be able to see the code which will be now executed for creation of the table so your actual code now resides here what your command has done your command python manage.py make migrations has just created this file which is consisting of the code to create the table now this code is supposed to be executed 
after this your table is going to be created so let's come to your terminal once again within this terminal now you have to write down next command that is python okay i shall just once again okay python manage python manage dot py migrate so we need to wait for some time for the very first time when you're using migrate it is actually performing all the migrations there are some default tables in your django framework which which were not created whose tables were not created so the very first time when you use migrate uh, in your project then all this is going to happen so wait till the time your own table is created right so uh, it's now created our table is now created that is this one my triple zero initial o now how do we know that our table so now in order to see if your table is created or not we need to open this db.sqlite3 for opening this you must first of all install one extension sqlite viewer okay just wait for some time sqlite viewer you click on this and you have to install this extension So once this gets installed, then you will be able to open your database and within which you will be able to see your table, the table that you just created. It's still installing, we can wait for some. Right, so it is now installed and now you can get back to your explorer and see that the symbol will get changed. So you click on this so once this gets opened you will be able to see certain tables in this SQLite and now you see that there were some default tables that were not created but once you have used the migration these tables are also created now this is our table my app underscore EMP so my app is the name of our application and the EMP is actually the name of our table. Now you see that your table is now created. This is the ID, first name, last name and salary. One more thing that you must have observed that we did not specify ID uh, when we were creating the table because, uh, because by default it will be taken in Django, it's not required. When you use migrations, Python manage.py make migrations automatically you see if you don't specify an ID it will consider one ID automatically whose uh, you can say the data type will be big auto field and it will be auto created as true and you can also see that uh, the primary key is set to true right so uh, these are the columns that have been created in our table now let's see that how we can perform insert, update and delete using the Python shell. So let's take a look at object relational mapping in Django also called as ORM. In Django, the ORM is a powerful feature that allows developers to interact with the database using, using the Python code instead of writing the SQL queries. So for this, in this lecture, we'll be using the Python shell in order to perform insertion, updation and deletion. The ORM maps Django models, that is the Python class that we just created, to the database tables and allows for efficient querying and manipulation of data. So let's now open Python shell. Now if you see that in db.sqli3, I have already inserted two employees in my table with these names, with these first names and last names. Now I'll tell you that similarly how you can insert the data in your table using the Python shell. For this, open your terminal. And then you have to write down the command Python Python 
manage dot by shell now you will be able to enter your shell so once you have entered your shell you will be able to use orm for for querying your database for querying your table first of all import your model by using from my app dot models import your model your model is what emp emp is your model now after this you want to create the data by using object relational mapper use the name of your model then dot objects dot create function where you are going to specify the key and value pairs that is column name and the value that you want to insert so first one is first name uh, first name equals to let's say i write here anish last name equals to kumar and salary let's say it is uh, something as 5000 or 50000 let's say so now you have to hit enter after specifying all the key value pairs you see that the data right now is inserted and already two records were there hence it is now showing object as three uh, here in this in object relational mapping whatever the data whatever the record the row that you are inserting will be considered as one object so let's see that for checking out whether that data is inserted you need to use emp.objects.all so you see that these three objects have now been inserted now check if your data is inserted by opening your database and then open your table you see that your all the records have been inserted previously two records and the one that we have now inserted here right so now let's try to update our data by once again entering into our shell manage.py shell import your model from my app dot models import emp model now we have to create one variable let's say i'm using e as the variable this variable will hold the primary key of the data the primary key of the employee whom i want to update or whose data i want to update e equals to anything you can write abc i'm using e here emp dot objects dot get for fetching the primary key i'm using get and the parameter we have to pass is pk pk means uh, primary key let's say i want to fetch two i'm going to fetch the employee whose id is two i just want to update the salary of that employee by using that variable e dot salary equals to so initially if you check the salary was the salary in this table initially for two is okay it's 41000 right so we can check 41000 let's say if i'm writing here 50000 and hit enter after this you have to save it by using save function hit enter now check the data by going to uh, you can refresh your table or just open it once again open your table once again or else the changes will not be reflected so open your table and now you see that for raj singh for this raj singh employee the salary has been updated to 50000 so this is how we update the data using orm now let's see how we can delete our data quite easy you already have imported your employee model and now this time you have to fetch the primary key of that employee whom you want to delete so fetch you can say that i'm fetching one employee with primary key one so hit enter all you have to write is e dot delete so when you get this my my app dot emp as one it means that it has been inserted 
let's check out that if really it got inserted really it got uh, deleted or not so you see that the employee with primary key one has now been deleted hope you like this lecture in the next lecture we are going to discuss about django admin